Welcome to Weber Math. I'm Nicholas Weber. Today we're going to be talking about dashboards, how to design them, how to put them together. But what is a dashboard, you might ask? Well, a dashboard is basically a series of charts that help the viewer discern what a large data set means. You can use dashboards to quickly summarize who has the highest sales or what portion of your book of business is written from a certain county or city or zip code. There's all kinds of things you can do to with dashboards. The most important thing is to make the data more easily understandable to those who look at your dashboard. So let's go ahead and take a look at a quick example. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at how to do these dashboards. So you'll notice here that I've rearranged our data from two weeks ago. I put the total sales 2011-2012 together. Same with the feedback, same with the reports, just to make it a little easier on ourselves. So let's go ahead and get started and ask ourselves what kind of data might you want. One of the things that you might like to be able to show is how the total sales, how each person did compared with these two years and then compared with the average. So let's go ahead and get started. So what you can do is select the data that you want to make the chart out of and then you go into charts and then we'll do a column chart. If you're on a Windows machine you'll go to insert chart which is over here Anyway, so what we want is a clustered column, and then that will give us the total sales for each person. So here we can see that Gandalf is went down, Bilbo's went up, and so on. But this isn't very helpful just because we don't have a good sense of how each person did against the average. So what I did was I created a column of values, since we have 10 people here, and we want to compare each one of them to the average. I calculated the average with this formula for 2011 and this formula for 2012 and notice the absolute references so it stays the same in each cell. So what we'll do is we'll highlight these averages and copy them and then you click on the chart and you hit paste. So now we've got the 2011 average and the 2012 average which the way it is right now you can't it's not very helpful so what would be more helpful is if it were a line straight across so you could see how you compare to the average so you click on the data that you want to modify and on windows you'll right click and uh, click on change series chart type here you just click on it and then go select with what the other one you want is so here we've got the 2011 average, and then we can go do the same thing with the 2012 average, make it a line chart. So here you can also, see, this chart also tells us that our sales, our average has gone up from 2011 to 2012. But right now these aren't visually related to these. So what we can do is we can use our theme coloring to make it clear that the 2011 total sales are related to the 2011 average. So here we'll go to format and then we want to change the fill color for 2011 and we'll go with this darker blue. And then we'll take the 2011 average which right now is in the green and then we'll change the line color to this lighter shade of the same blue. So you can easily tell that this is related to this. And then we'll do the same thing with the other color as well. So now you can easily tell that this is related. So now let's make this part of our dashboard. So we'll cut it from this sheet uh, with Command X or Control X on your PC. Go to your dashboard page and paste it in, and then you can make it whatever size you like. And then it's nice and clear how this works. And the nice thing about dashboards is they also update in real time. 
not quite as useful in this application, but let's say some new data came in and say said that, well, Gimli actually only sold 100,000, and Boromir only sold 150,000 in 2012. And then you'll see that it updates here, and then the average is also updated. It's come down. So we can undo those changes, and it's back to normal. OK, let's take a look at another example in which we can use this information. So one thing we might want to do is find out how they've been doing in terms of getting positive or negative feedback. So what you can do is select both of these sets of data, and then go to the bar chart and click on a clustered bar. And then this will show us how they've been doing in terms of positive or negative feedback. It would make more sense if 2011 was on top and then 2012, so it would go more in chronological order. So what you can do is click on the 2011 and then change this. This shows us the order in which it appears. If you just change that to a 2, then it'll just go ahead and put this on top. What you're probably going to do on a Windows machine is just right-click on it, and then you'd say Select Data, and then you can change the order but I digress. So again, you can uh, cut this from this page and paste it to this page. And then here's the beginning of a dashboard. So there you have dashboards. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this Excel video and would like to see more, go ahead and click on the subscribe button so you get all my future videos. Also, I find likes very helpful just to get out the word about these videos. And if you'd like more information about Excel, VBA, or myself, take a look at my website, www.webermath.com. Take care.